This channel is supported by my books, including my new book, Fishing the Edge, Techniques and Tales from Surf, Boat, and Kayak, a bestseller on Amazon. You can learn more at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon. Hey, before we do the fishing, I want to show the retrieve that I'm using. Um, yeah, this is a high-speed reel, 7 to 1 gear ratio. Every turn of that handle brings in 44 inches of line. And, uh, yeah, I'm cranking fast, so that lure is just skipping across the top of the water. And that's the approach. You're going to make about three casts per minute doing this. But it is deadly on numerous speedster kind of fish. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Um, it, it's relatively rough. A lot of people think it's, you know, a little too rough. Here's the thing. If the water's clear, you, you're good for false albacore. And this water is clear. A lot of people have given up on the albies at this point, so there's only a few people on the beach. Okay, like they do, it took a scorching run to start. I've got 20 pound mainline uh, X9 braid, 20 pound cigar fluorocarbon leader, uh, tied direct, number two deadly dick. I only use two lures for this basically. Number two deadly dick, number one deadly dick, green. Um, I try to use the one when it's windy like this, I'm using the two. And as always, I'll have links to all the gear in the video description. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. These stones are wet, so that fish is going to slide easily. There's no fear of a slime coat being lost here. In fact, the, the fish will actually keep sliding down in front, get a hold of it here. Eastern Long Island, uh, I saw these things as late, on the beach, as late as November 14th last year. They may have been here later than that. I um, left for Florida at that point, but uh, yeah, they'll, they'll stay into November. Some of the largest albies I've seen have been late in the season. Um, and if there's going to be a big one on this video, I can't remember which one it is, but uh, there's a big one coming up.
Yeah, pound for pound, these are the toughest fighting fish that I catch, and uh, you know that that includes you know, bluefish and jack creval. By the way, I think if you tied a jack creval and a bluefish together, the jack would probably tow the bluefish. But yeah, I think uh, an Aldi would um, w would beat a jack creval for sure. Now this is all blind casting. I will never see a splash here on this trip. There's no birds. You just have to have faith that this time of year they're coming through. You have to fish it. They're, they're not going to show themselves necessarily. Most of the time they don't this time of year.
this is that big one. Um, in 2009, I had a 16.4 pounder on the beach, and uh, that stood as the New York State uh, record until I think it was 2022. Um, somebody out to an efficient 20 miles out in the ocean got an 18 pounder, uh, knocked me out of there. But it had it for a while, and wow, that was a battle. And that was late in the season. In fact, I think that was the last Albi I caught that particular season, 2009. And that was October 17th. The runs used to end earlier. A lot of it's very weather dependent. That's not the big one. Okay. Uh, wow, it's amazing they can fight that hard. All right, big ones uh, to come. Obviously, I'm not catching fish every cast here. I started about 7.30. This bite will die uh, about 9 a.m.
All right, definitely better than 10 pounds, uh, but I'm not going to put that on the boga. I don't want to stress them out any more than it is. Get that thing back in the water. Uh, it was kicking good when it came in. It came back in. Okay, we'll do one more here. Um, yeah, so this will be the fifth one, and then I got one more after this, and I um, had one other on briefly. So, you know, not a spectacular bite, but hey, I'll take it any time, uh, you know, especially this year. Hey, if you're still watching at this point, I appreciate you hanging in there. I know it gets a little repetitive, but hey, it's just what this fishing is this particular morning. All right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Check out my online courses at saltstrong.com skinner and my new Northeast Fishing message board at SaltStrong. There's a link to that in the video description. And don't forget my books, including my new book, Fishing the Edge, Techniques and Tales from Surfboat and Kayak, available at johnskinnerfishing.com and on Amazon.